Hello and welcome back to the co-op series between me and Serious Trivia. Hi guys. So, we're back on your turn after both Correct. receiving quite a few unique characters last time and having we've set some decent goals for ourselves now of things right. we want to accomplish right now, which is good. So, speaking of characters, I got way too many. My character salary is 3.2k and I'm oh crippled. I'm, neg I'm negative economy right now and uh, I need to get more land to make some money. So, speaking of that, I'm going to start by fighting this one here. Can you, wait, before you I do should... that, can you check, in, right. the, in the spy pool, can you actually currently, can you turn code any of my characters right now? Just nope. Out of curiosity. No one's no? willing. Okay. No one's good. willing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. they, need to be, they need to be low and also have certain traits that, like, kind of willing to, like, disloyal, for example, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, so you should be fine. Like, I think most of your characters are, like, have fondness for you anyway, so you're not yeah. going to run into any Especially issues. Especially all the new ones I got, yeah. You can't check retinue size here in... Hmm, that's really weird. So I can't... Oh, it's oh. empty! What? That's why I can't check size. There's no one in there. Well, I'll that's take an that. easy pickup. Oh, there's your one shoe right there. There's my brother slash cousin. <laughs> How does that work? Because I thought he was a half brother. Right. So they they are brothers. Oh, they are half brothers in the beginning. Like I was the older brother, but my mom was a maid. His mom was an actual wife. So he's a younger brother, but he's higher status. But then our father had an older brother. So our uncle had no sons. So in order to extend his branch, I was passed over as the extra son, even though I'm the oldest son, but because my mom had no status, I was passed over to be adopted by my uncle. So now I'm my uncle's heir. And my uncle, so technically I'm now your cousin because I'm now Yuan Shu's uncle's heir. Yeah, I got you. And because, and because uh, the uncle was the older brother, I actually have higher status in the Yuan clan than Yuan Shu, even though if I had stayed in the same family, I would lower. have lower status because yeah. my mom is not a legit wife. <laughs> so that's why Yuan Shu doesn't like me at all. Because when he grew up, oh. he was treated as kind of the heir to the family. And yeah. then I was just this nobody kid who's an older brother. But then I got adopted by uncle. And all of a sudden, I'm viewed more esteemly as an heir to the Yuan clan as a whole than him. That's so weird. How, that, how right. something like that can even influence it at all. <laughs> you get adopted, and all of a sudden, you're higher status than your than your brother who was. Because he's because he's now your cousin, and yeah. he'd be a younger cousin, it's and so your weird. your your new adopted father is higher in line in the entire clan succession, so you would be ranked higher than him. Sweet. All right, time to ease some of my costs by granting independent. Oh, I got all the money, right? Yes, I got all the cash. That's why I even have cash. I'm gonna downgrade this too. She doesn't eat that. She also doesn't eat that. Alright, a level one. Hip hip hooray. Grant independence. Off she goes, and she can be a buffer state for me in the north against Gong Sundan's eventual attacks. And that leaves me with an extra administrator to use here, which. I don't know who's going to boost peasantry income. Well, she's all sources. Minus five public order, which is fine. Get more rebels to fight. You just did another thing that I didn't even realize was a thing. What? The, the granting grant independence? independence? Yeah. Like, I, I mean, we just talked about it in the last episode as well, but I, I never realized you could actually just like actively just give someone independence and then vassalize them. Yeah, it's an auto vassal when okay. you give independence. Interesting. Well... You're playing the way AI you want to uh, you want to play, so yeah, vassalize the world. <laughs> yeah. Let's get start. Okay, so that's fine. Mm. My economy's positive, at least, but I can't. I might want to rush this just so I build something here, so I get a garrison in case you actually gets ideas here. Um, I'm gonna upgrade that. 800. Yeah, I'm gonna rush that and then I'm gonna tax places first. Oh dear. Do I have any. Oh, so he's keeping satisfaction afloat for me right now. Ooh. 
when will you level up? Uh, not anytime soon. Also not anytime soon. Mm, I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> I can trade with my vassal. That's good. Oh no, I'm not going to offer a marriage. Thing is, she doesn't have she doesn't have money because I stripped her of all her buildings. But she does start out with always two thousand in cash and always a stone pig. Okay. Oh, it's so funny. I can sign a non-aggression pack with Taltian. <laughs> I can sap his income for yeah, you. Just, All part of the say, plan. Just take some money from him before I kill him. Makes makes sense. Mm, I have How much? Oh, man. No. Oh, okay, I can actually get some money from him. All right, I'm going to get some money from him. Sweet. Over time or just insta money? I'll do over time, right? I think that's what the AI used to calculate in terms of recruitment. That should probably help. Oh, but you're gonna kill him. You still got two more towns, so it'll be right. these two turns. It's, it's, okay, then but these are ten turn payments. <laughs> 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 I, I'm gonna take cash then in this yeah, case because you're gonna wipe him. Well, I can take like a thousand off of him, more than a thousand. Wow. For someone who's about to get killed, he's fairly generous. <laughs> I don't think he realizes what's on his doorstep. It's like, I really need an aggression right now with someone who's not even bordering me. Ignoring the person who's currently rampaging through my lands. All right, my economy at least is afloat now. And I don't think I can spy anyone. Oh, I got a turn code option from Yuan Shu's faction, Yan Xiang. Actually a decent advisor historically, but nothing to be proud of in game. Oh, he, he's in the uh, Jiling army. Yeah, I probably want a strategist. With the Burn debuff, who's also my administrator. Hmm. All right. I think I'm good to go. Uh, I can afford this, but do I really want to build this right now? I guess so. Actually, I'm not sure. I might just lose the north. Entirely to uh, Gong Sun Zat. Interesting. I want to know hmm, who owns He Dong. Can't have no vision on that. Maybe I will upgrade this guy. Is there one where we can get extra re replenishment in our own land? There's one for foreign land, but I'm like, I'm not on foreign land. It's not very helpful right now, is it? Yeah, yeah. Can we can we help ourselves first? No, nothing really. Okay, guess I'll just I'll just chill here and get the two extra percent. All right, I'm gonna give it to you. All right, so if Tao Chan decides to. Work. Something. Oh, oh hey. Dongzhuo's army is here. Oh, I want to peace. It's one of the people almost free grand for it. 
No, afraid not, my friend. He wants peace with you? Yeah. This is a personal matter. I'm not going to peace out of you. <laughs> I will avenge my father. I like the Han, Han Empire army just running for my lance. It's actually yeah, losing men like, now. Oh, like we need to redeploy ourselves to the to the corner of the map where we actually still have land. Declawing the tiger. Soon Jen is dead. Oh, turn what? Let's see. Turn seven. Okay. Didn't last long, did he? So you might not be able to grab Sun Tzu. Hmm. Oh, my middle son has come of age. One extra character that I don't have to pay for, which is not bad. Ah, but Yuan Xi has no special treatment whatsoever. Oh my goodness, does um... Does Tao Chen just have, or Ted Chen, sorry, does he have like the most strategist in the game or something? Because we killed two of them just now. Or no, we killed, yeah. we killed, this, we we killed, killed one, one of them, and he and himself is he one. He himself is yeah. one, yeah. And then he's got two more over here. Mm -hmm. Gosh, okay. Well, at least it's Sergius, not the most difficult thing to fight. And one of those was actually the administrator of the town, who's no longer as a garrison in the town. He's just a... Right. So, Wasted effort there. Yeah, so that didn't really increase his garrison by much. Still, it's a lot of archers, but we got a uh, brilliant strategist, so... And I'm making very little money, so I do need to keep expanding. I could grab uh, Shapi first, but I feel like if I take Shapi, I probably won't be able to reach Donghai right. next be turn. Weakest, this will be the weakest he will be at. Yeah, know, that's true as well. Faster. He's just going to get stronger. Well, I mean, I would too, but yeah, I think I think let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just do it. Let's do some quick killing here. Oh wow, can I demand surrender? Oh, that would have been sick if he just took that. Um, yeah, no, let's just blow up a wall and send in Shahudun and Tatsa. Should be okay. We've got the extra ammo. We've only got three trebuchets, I think, maybe even two. I didn't check. I turned off recently, um, I turned off the um, loading screen narration thing. Um, oh, yeah, for the like, speech. Yeah, the speech thing because I can't understand it. <laughs> for one, oh, I just I cut this out in when when in my in single campaigns. players. Yeah, yeah. For me, my loading screen is usually fast enough that it's not really a problem. But now that I've turned it off, you still have the speech bubbles, but they fly through them. Like they just like it's like one person talks, next person talks. Blah. It like it, it doesn't wait anymore. It just goes straight through all of them, which is really odd. Um, hmm, this corner bit. Only one tower. This corner is good. This, this, uh... I'm thinking, the, like, this to the, one. To your right, where you said... Oh, that side? Yeah, because only one tower. Wait, what about the other side? Yeah, the other side's alright as well. I was oh, thinking you here... Want, oh, you just want to crack a little hole. Yeah, one hole and then just send in the generals. Yo, alright, so this okay. is, this yeah, is that where... Works. I wonder how you do your sieges, because I'm sure you also cheese the hell out of them, basically. I, I siege the other side, but th that this... I mean, it's a very similar idea. Like, you find the, the, the side with the least towers, right? Yeah. Do I actually have... No, I don't have... Uh, yeah, normally if you have Spear Guard, Turtle, then you just put them in Turtle, and the towers just shoot at them forever. But yeah, no, I, uh, I think I'm just going to blow one hole in the wall here, because I don't know if I've got much ammo to do another hole anyway. Um, I am going to Oh, you got three. You. Oh, you got plenty. Yeah, yeah, that would be fine, especially with Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Seven, 17 shot, yeah. I am going to give you... I'll give you the Cav again. You can follow me in afterwards if you want. Sure. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, let's just pop all the infantry there, and then of course. So you're gonna be you're gonna be hitting the wall first, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna blow a hole this wall and then run into generals and kill everything basically. And you can run okay. into cab, and I'll I'll send the infantry in as well, but just while you have a hole. Alright, I'll triple speed this for now. How exciting. <laughs> yeah, brilliant is something I've I love, but I never really like in my uh, Liu Jung campaign Liu Yun campaign as well, I had a brilliant person pop up and then I didn't hire them and then people commented like why didn't you? And then I think to myself, like, yeah, why didn't I? It's just one of those I things that I them. Yeah, it's they're so good, but I just don't think right. about it enough. I put three of them in an army with no units and just have them follow my army around. 
Yes, that's what someone said in the comments. That that's what, that's what right. you do. And the enemies just have no ammo at the start. All the archers are just infantry. That's pretty good. Um. I yeah. I feel like you'd be so susceptible. I don't think you could do it in, in um, player versus player because then the other person just night battles, right? But but no, you, it, it, they they don't need to be present. They just need to be in the county. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> you, you just need them standing in the county. They don't even need to show up on the field. Oh, okay. That's okay. Never mind. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, okay. This I'll, I'll go after you make a mess of things <laughs> to prevent yeah, I'll just, the crowding uh, situation where I can't get them out. I'll um, use the less of my plus, ammo. Plus, that, that spear guard is annoying. Yes, they are. But we'll be okay. Honestly, even if generals get dismounted, how, how many how many shots do they have? Eighteen. Okay. I mean, if there was no tower, we could have. Oh, do you think I should have shot the tower instead? No, no, no. It's fine. We could capture it. Like you could. Mm... Uh, do do your thing. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> do, do, do how you. Yeah, would for do now. It. Yeah, I'll just start. Uh, yeah. Sending up the generals first. I'll I'll, I'll move in the infantry as well because I don't think we can just take it with just just the generals right now. Um, let's get the spears up first. It's the, the only unfortunate thing about this corner is obviously there's only like one way in. You can't like immediately go to right. the left or to the right or something. There'd be no flanks, but yeah. that's fine. They don't have a lot of front line. No, because they have two stretches. <laughs> It's just archers, archers galore over here. Even on the point, basically. There's one spear, and then there's a couple more archers sitting over there as well. Yeah. Okay, ignore the spears for now. One of the strategists has that debuff where I can't use my abilities, yeah. but not really worried about it. You got dismounted. Oh my god, I look away for two seconds. Yeah, they just run into the spears. Oh, yeah. Well. It's not really a huge deal. Can you run him at the spear guard to make them turn around? Yes. Run the one that's dismounted? Yes. Show He's them. ready oh, to they've already done it. Yeah, Tatsu, get out of there for a second. Here come the cavalry. Yeah. You know what, actually, it's Shavu Dun, while you're dismounted, go kill some characters. Stop running away from me. Ooh, this is gonna be an absolute slaughter fest. Keep slapping him. I think they both have to debuff. Unless the range. No, the range is really big. One of them's actually got wisdom in the river. Alright, maybe we can force a chain route or something. See if I can do that. Sounds good. The tower is just shredding us. Yeah, it's alright. I guess I could try and capture it. But mm, one, now we're that we're in. inside, we should be okay, yeah. Yeah, we're in. We gotta somehow get rid of this spear guard. Yeah, that's Clogging the only, up everything. Uh, the only main thing now. Look at that spirit, uh, G infantry captain on the side. They've made the longest <laughs> line, triple line. line. <laughs> this, is a, this is the Yari wall, be careful. <laughs> this is a new strategy going on here, what the hell. Oh, one of the generals, one more slap and he's gone. Alright, we got we got it. We Go broke, we broke the spear guard. Slap okay, now we're, now we're good to go in. Sweet, get in there. Oh, I killed one of the characters too. I don't know where his body went, but... The amount of arrows flying at us. A couple of spear units take on that G infantry captain. Just a big traffic jam here. Yeah. So would you have done a similar strategy normally, or...? Uh, this would probably... If I'm sending the army, this would probably be the same thing I'll do. 
Okay. Or else I'll probably just get the general on the wall first. Okay. Oh, Tata's on a murdering spree. He's gonna take out another one. There it goes. Die. I should actually let your spear take care of them, but I can't get out now. It's all clogged up. Yeah, I'll get to get the generals back in. Oh, Tata should use his ability too. Just gotta get rid of this guy. Yeah, once this saber dies. I can charge forward, and then the archers should be easy killing. Yeah. Come on, get them. Got 15 morale. Probably 11. Okay. Oh, there we go. Nice little hamstring beautiful, right there. Beautiful. Nice. We're gonna break through. We're gonna do the things. Are there still the other cows? Cavalry. Okay, we can we can filter through now. We make contact with their archers. Some of which are apparently leaving the castle. I mean, they're the smart ones. <laughs> they know what's up. Okay, these chain routed. Sweet. We're gonna. Look, I'm gonna keep moving the cavalry in just to get out of your way. Yeah, sounds good. GF2 captain's almost gone. Yeah, as well. Barricaded a lot of spots, but I think I can get through from here. Yeah. And plus, we're not really afraid of archers with no. this type of cav. You'll be good. Actually, I'll pass you Tsao You can bring him with you. Oh, you can pass units during yeah, the mid battle. Yeah, battle. Yeah. Wow. So here's the thing, I've seen this happen many, many times. Current, look at Xiao Hudun for a second if you can. He he is should be running, but he's walking. Oh, now he's being attacked by something, but he's walking incredibly slowly towards where I told him to go. Wait, let me just kill that unit first and then <laughs> see if he keeps walking. Yeah. He's not. I mean, he could just be fatigued. Oh, he's not even. He's, he's, he's what is it? Tired? He's winded. He's winded, yeah. He's tired. tired. Oh, now he starts running again. But I've seen that many times in, in the game, where a character's just like, I'm just going to take a stroll instead of running it. <laughs> it's not like we're in battle or anything. Oh, wait. No rush. No rush. Take my time. Yeah, and it's usually in uh, in sieges where I notice it, which is just really odd. Oh. It could just be pathfinding inside the city. Maybe, yeah. It's always a difficult thing. There we go. One hamstring. I think that's why hamstring's actually really solid against the infantry, I just realized. On foot, anyway. Yeah. Don't. Also lowers their uh, melee evasion, I believe, right? Uh, speed. speed. Definitely yeah. speed. Speed. Yeah. And it increases the cooldown of their abilities, but that's more of a... Uh, use that general against. thing. Yeah, yeah. generals. Alright, kill the archer up here. How are things going over there? Uh, pretty well. Uh, the barricade's a little bit tricky to get around, but we're, 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 we're getting through it. Good. Shadow Doom is can probably do this to hit him. And then these can hit him. I mean, everyone's a little fatigued at this point. Yeah. Alright, Archer on the walls running as well. Honestly, probably kill those two or three units, and then the last one will likely route. Right, so this has all been dealt with. I guess this army can start running towards the center, although it'll never get there. Yeah, I think once these archers are gone, that last unit of spear would just route. So yeah, we don't even have to go well. to him. Yeah. Oh, the tower is firing inside the castle. Always hate that. I just saw Tsao Tsao running through men, not even doing an attack animation, just running through them. Just the horse. Just you know, the horse, horse is yeah. attack, yeah. <laughs> and then enemies flying back, blood splatters all over the place. That should be it, right? Oh, this archer in the front door can... 
Mm -hmm. One of oh, you yeah. guys get that. See him, he yeah. bounced back from the outside, I think. I've got my unit running after him, but most of it ran the other way. I'll get there in about six years. I can probably start triple speeding this now anyway. I'm not going to waste manpower fighting that one. Sounds good. I'm running. Oh, they routed. Alright, we got there it. Go. There we go. Armin also kicked in. Good stuff. Yep. Two more strategists dead. That's why Tsao has so few of them, because we're killing all of them. <laughs> He did execute quite a few scholars around this time. <laughs> they were trash talking his family for being uh, eunuchs. Damn. Alright, two bit of cash. Got me some. Well, I lost some more Imperial favor. That throws me off too. Ooh, I ranked up too. That throws me off too because every time it, it t like after you get the money, if there is like a delay, it means you're getting something like an item or right. something usually. But now it's like no, you lost imperial flavor. So, you, you lost points. Thanks. Yeah. I was excited then, but thanks. All right, second marquee. Now I'm playing as Tsao so plus the yeah, I get pawns from spies, so I should definitely get some more spies. I think right. That makes sense. As much as I don't use them often enough. The pawn system alone is probably just... Would you say putting in two right away? Two Correct. more spies? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's probably good. You also get that small uptick bonus. Yeah, the... Uh, the milestone. Maximum cover. The yeah. five cover per turn, whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you don't get any administrators anymore. Unless you, of course, put one in. So I probably should put in an administrator. Got one trade agreement, two spies. I've got three armies, so I don't need to get any more armies right now. Um, administrators will also be armies because uh, when you assign administrator, oh, you yes. get one extra army slot. So yeah, that would that work just That's, work out for you. I definitely don't want any more assignments because assignments like my least favorite thing. Well, not it's not like I dislike it. It's just I don't yeah. use them as they, often. They, they, yeah, some they, of them they become weaker and weaker. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I could I could probably use that lady to get me um, reward the incorrupt and filial or something to plus mm -hmm. that satisfaction. If she has that, if she has that skill. Yeah, I need to have a look at that. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'll do one administrator. So uh, one administrator, one trade, two spies. Makes sense. So now I should immediately have two more schemes available then, right? No, I don't. Does that take a while to reset or something? Maybe next turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it... Let's take a turn or something. We'll check next turn. Uh, oh, Leo Bay has a new faction capital. All right, because he took a major town, I guess. Killed some people in battle. We got Earth Dragon. What does that one do again? Immune to fear and terror, I believe. Uh, oh, that's right, the top. Uh, yeah, immune to scaring, and also desire for a lower desire for higher office. It's not bad. Two hundred bucks though. Not right now. Okay, we got new town. Sweet, sweet. Right, so let me have a look if she actually has that option, because then I should have done that ages ago. She It's like the bottom does. right skill. Yeah, she has it. Um, I have minus 50% corruption as well. I guess I'll take it in. I don't think I've got any corruption. Oh, I've got 1%. All right, well, let's take the richest town then, richest province, commandery. That's Chen. All right, reward the filial when incorrupt. Enjoy. And... One more turn until my small city is done, at which point I can finally switch over to Temple to get some more satisfaction as well. For now, though, do I build up Gorja's retinue? I don't think I need to. It's just a waste of money at the moment. Kind of need to actually build some stuff at some point as well. Um, oh yeah, I've got a couple of turn codes. Oh yeah, so I can, I can also get that Yuan Shu turn code. Oh, there's, a, there's one of your turn codes, just to, in case you're wondering. <laughs> Uh, Shu Yu. Right, to he's turn. coded to turn code because historically he's the reason why Yuan Shu lost the uh, Shu lost the Battle of Guandu. Oh, okay. Because he turned to Cao Cao and, and gave the location of the supply depot. Well, then it almost feels fated that I should take him at some point, but <laughs> I'm not interested in him right now. Plus, he's kind of expensive because I guess I have to pay for his retinue as well. Um, just his salary, whatever his salary is, you have to pay for his salary. Yeah, it's just the the actual cost of recruiting him right away. I mean. Right. Right, it's, it's expensive for 20, spies. Yeah. 2700 yeah. 
the less satisfied they are with the faction, the lower the cost will be. Interesting. See, I, I really haven't looked at this mechanic at all, ever. It's so good that you told me about it. Okay. Um, right. I am going to build up the livestock farm to level 3, so it gets a nice big garrison. Always good. And the rest of the money I think I'm going to save. Yeah, I'll change over the one archer militia to a crossbow. That's the last thing I'll do. I'm not going to recruit any more units, though. Can I reach this... Oh, I'm going to be like one foot short of Shapi next turn. You can pull him out of the city for a little bit towards that direction. Okay, let's You can that. change the direction of where you're... Oh, right. Hold on. Oh, yeah, but he has to follow the road, I guess. So this is the fastest road. Or fastest way. Uh, yes, because there's a river cutting off the other yeah. way. It still yeah. says two turns, but I guess I'll try. Or does it? If it says two turns, it's going to be two it's turns. It's probably two turns. Okay, yeah. well, then let's pop him back in the Get the two percent. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Um, I think that's it. Let's end the turn so you can do some stuff as well. Alrighty. So I do have a new character in court, Liang Xing. Not interested, other than the fact that he's a sentinel. Oh, and stubborn. But I have way too many characters right now, so no. I have an army from Dong Zhuo Li. Li Jue is here with Guo Si and Niu Fu. I doubt he can cross the river here, so I just have to choke him off at the bridge with maybe an ambush. Holy crap. Li Jue has a uh, 400 buck salary title. Right, Grand Commandant yeah. and yeah. Protector of the Free Realms. It's not even that good mm. for 400 character salary. He's okay, actually. No, I, I mean, yeah, him, but the, the I'll, titles... I'll take him if, if he's available. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think, just generally, if a character is unique, you just grab him, if it's possible. Well, I mean, like, he's actually decent enough for um, assignment, uh, for, like, a Prime Minister role. He has, oh. like, minus 10% retinue upkeep, I believe. Oh, yeah, that's pretty Or, or no, he gives... Sat he drops satisfaction and gives something. I mean, he's pretty useful, basically. I forgot which exactly. Okay. Was the one that he gives? God, you don't even know what a loser. You're not. You're not that yeah. well acquainted with the game. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Eventual ranked up. What happened to my son? Rank up. Two more turns. Six hundred. Yeah, two more turns. Uh, what to do? There's not much to do. I'm pretty much waiting for my buildings to come through. I given up on building up. Wait. I'm very happy to lose it if Wang Shao was willing to take it. He should definitely do it because I can't trade away my capitals. I don't want to. I don't want to spend money to switch capitals. Are you gonna try and stop Liu Yeah, uh, he can't. He can't go to the capital. The river there is actually oh. like Luoyang's very well protected. He can't. He only can go through the bridge. Okay. So, so I'm just gonna ambush right here. Um, I don't think I can do anything. There's actually nothing I can do. I can try to get paid. Yeah, I'll get paid. Your new neighbor, Liu Bei, is going to give me a non-aggression. Oh, that's an interesting thing. Actually... What if I declare war on Liu Bei and you... I don't know. I mean, we're, we're about to find out in these things. You, you feel free to do so. I mean... uh, not yet. Well, I, first I want to take out Ta Qian, And then after that, I think I'm probably going to focus on the Han a little bit. I probably want to go after her Yi as well before he becomes a problem. I'm gonna to pretend to be friend with my my brother for a little bit, because I I'm gonna fight Dongzhuo first I think since his army is ready at my front door. Yeah, makes sense. I need to pull any other wars right now. Uh, I also totally he's forgot. pretty generous with how much he's willing to pay me. Liu Bei. Uh, uh, you, uh, my brother, Ranshu. Yeah. yeah, Liu Bei is poor. <laughs> Can't do much about that. Poor man. He's a oh, maker after I can extract. I can extract even more money from Tao Tian. Go so you're it. gonna wipe him out very soon, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. Give him turn or the turn after. I'm gonna give him more food then per turn food for cash up front, because uh, I wouldn't have to pay that very soon. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna count on you. Are you doing something where 
if I don't I'm, I'm going to pay him per turn money to make him pay me more lump sum. Okay. Knowing that you're going to wipe him soon, so I don't have to, you know, finish up my end of the bargain, basically. But what if he offers me peace for a very good deal right now? That, I pay him 74 a turn. <laughs> 74. It's not like it's not like you're going to go broke anytime soon. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's not a not a big promise. I should do that as well, actually, with people who you'd be fighting and soon right. will be killing. Feel free. Yeah, yeah. It's a good idea. I also um, need to sell off some food, and I forgot to put in an administrator. I'm just selling deals left and right. What's your income at right now? A uh, thousand two hundred something. Okay. Kind of shy about that last food though. I want to keep something positive food. Wait, what am I doing? It's a shame you can't click on like the court or anything during the other person's turn. Right, you can't do much. No. You can like check your states and that's about it. Yeah, and it's weirdly you can look at your reforms even though you can't do anything with that. It's not like you can really right. prepare your re reforms or anything, but oh well. All right. Now that I got some cash, maybe I'll spend it. Uh, it's not worth. Mm. See, I don't have things to spend it on. That's the thing. Like, maybe I get a new army? Like, I really want to get Jotai going. But then I also really want to wait two turns so that my son can get flexibility. And that saves a bunch of money on recruiting generals out on the field. Yeah, it's tough decisions here. All right, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna end turn. I'm just gonna save up cash. There's nothing really I want to do. Sounds good. Oh. Okay, he just went closer to Loyal, which doesn't do anything. He can attack it next turn by crossing the river, but that's about it. Oh. Ah. So this is seen. So I actually want him to take this, and I don't. Ooh, I don't want the strategist to die. If I offer him surrender. Right. The thing is, my general is going to die here. Did he not take it? Uh, uh, I'll offer it. Oh. oh, he took it. Okay. Sweet. She's a burned officer, I believe. I'd rather she not die. Oh. Now my capital moves to Loya, which is great. But I lose a big chunk of income. Well, not big chunk, a couple hundred. Because I'm not making much off taxation money. Did I just offered me a bunch of... Well, he wanted military access and I, he wanted me to give him a bunch of ancillaries. <laughs> I said no. Sorry, mate. Right. Winter coming up, so I probably want to have some people... Oh, yeah, what? so now I've got yeah. two pawns available. Sweet. Um, yeah, winter coming up, so now I probably want to put someone in. So here, okay, this is just an English word that I've never, I, I just don't know how to pronounce it. Grand Commandant. Is it Commandant or Commandant? Like, how do you pronounce that uh, word? Some people taught me it's Commandant. Oh, Commandant, right. I don't know if yes, that's right or wrong. That makes sense. No, I've, I have heard that word before pronounced like that. Okay, that right. makes more sense. Uh, right, anyway, so do I want to put two people in posts? That's kind of expensive. Definitely not family members. I mean, it's like people don't realize English is both of our second like language. <laughs> yeah, it is, weirdly. <laughs> um, recruitment costs, I don't really care. Liu Junshu gets 24 satisfaction. She's the... I guess she's one of my highest level characters, weirdly. Okay, what's Grand Excellency again? That's income from industry. I don't have any industry income, I think, so basically nothing. Well, first of all, let me use your cheeky way of taking an ancillary so is it rem okay so if you go go to the one who you want the ancillary yeah. on add try to add the ancillary and then you see it on the list on the bottom as someone equipped so I have click to on that it. and then do the remove, remove and then it'll pop into place and then it'll show up on top and then just equip and then it'll go over gotcha yep it worked cool okay right 
Uh, I've also got another herdsman. Not sure where I got that from. That's okay. Do I actually have any other ancillaries on care? See, I've got like I've got the um, legendary bow on Tao Ren, which feels like a massive waste to just not use that. But oh, plus ten percent ammunition for own retinue as well. Man, I should really give that one to the Guo Jiao right now. Stack that, definitely. which is brilliant too. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. I'll switch care items again. Take that. Oh, now it says on a cooldown. I guess because I already did a switch this turn or something. No, you have to do the removal. You got to go from Guo Jiao's. Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. To do the add. But I, I just switched something else on him on the same. Uh, oh, on the same accessory yeah. slot. Yeah, so I'm guessing uh, it, you can't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. Then the slot has been like kind of used already. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll see that next turn then. Two farmers. <sighs> and she can just grab this for some happiness. She doesn't really need happiness. I gotta redo my trade routes. It seems. Because I lost my capital, so I actually lost access to the trade partners I had. Because oh, right. I have a new capital. That's something which I means need to I do. And to find new partners. Well, we're almost bordering each other, so we can possibly start trading soon. I've got one war with Kongju right now. I'll take some. Oh, wow. He is not willing to pay me any money. Holy crap. Um, how about some instant money instead? Ugh. Not much of that either. Right? Stingy. 375 bucks. Do you have any ancillaries? Because this is really just... Nope. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll still take it. Still trade anyway. And then I've got four food, although I actually have more because it's winter. But, yeah, four food. Who wants food? <laughs> I'm a negative two now. Oh, would you like some food? <laughs> Are you going to be okay? No, I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, because of winter. Yeah, the, pe the peasant's going to see a huge tax increase very soon. <laughs> Uh, ooh, Tao Chan is very rich in food. Well, not soon, not not for long when I take his town. Yeah, you're very poor, apparently. Okay. Liu Chan, <laughs> I offer you? Oh, I've already got food deal with you. What am I talking about? I think I'm just going to keep it. Right, we built a small city, so now I can switch over that building, which is going to give me 10 extra satisfactions. We can finally get rid of that low satisfaction, which is a bit annoying. Uh, can I reach Shapi? No, I'm out of range. Well, let's just move up to the border then, I think. Take that next turn. So you don't have to pay your 74 bucks a turn anymore. And then I've got two more schemes to do. So these ones I actually will need to have a second to look through. No rush. I'm uh, planning on who I need to summon out next turn. Uh, okay, yeah, I should have. Well, okay, well, you can tell me this. Um, Hawk and Tiger Maneuvers gives me 50% more movement range. Right. Does that work when I've already moved? Do I still get... Yes. It, it, it only works when you are below 10%. Oh, yes, I so see you have that, to actually, move. Yeah. You have to move till you can't move, and then you can activate that, and then you get 50 extra. Okay. I, so yeah. that would actually be good if you can't reach Sappy this turn. You probably yeah. can't reach it with that. I'm going to try that out. Yo, I will be winded, but that doesn't matter. Yeah, this seems like a delegate fight, actually. Level 2. Yeah, should definitely Town. be. Right, so army... Hawk and Tiger Maneuvers, activate scheme, and I got 15 credibility from it too, which is nice. Right, yeah, easily. Alright. And I will indeed delegate that. Now vote the same. And Tao Tian's done. Yeah, that's it. This saved you a bunch of money as well. Ah, uh, 74, don't have to pay it? <laughs> <laughs> now my question is, does he comes to me? He and, he and his son. He and his son came to my court. Oh, I got Lady Me available. Nice. Who is she? She's, she's from no base wife. Yeah, I thought me, so. Me, your sister. Yeah. So why is why is she available to me now? Randomly, I've taken out Tao Chen. He, she's in Tao Chen's faction in one ninety. So her brother oh. is Mi Zhu, who is one of the strategists you killed. Uh, so has she not a, married Liu Bei yet? Yeah, she's not. Uh, okay. Liu Bei would join Tao Tian very soon, and then Mi Zhu would marry his sister to Liu Bei. Right. Mi Zhu okay. is a very, very wealthy merchant. Cool. Well, I'm definitely hiring her, although I'm nine bucks short right now. Uh, I can either cancel something, or I could ask my, my good friend Yuan Xiao if he's got nine bucks available. I've also got Lady, Lady Gan. Who's... Also Liu Bei's wife. <laughs> sure, of course. Why not? Uh, yeah, okay, hold on. So, diplomacy. I have a deal for you. 
Wait. Uh, would it be weird if I adopt Tall Tent just ah. for the bonuses? What happened? No, I have no food anymore. I was going to give you some food. I, how did I go down on food? Wait, what happened? I also went up on food. <laughs> I just I don't I didn't trade any food away. I took a town and somehow I'm now. Oh, on zero I went food. up because I went up because I was trading with Tall Tien. I offered him food, so now you killed oh. him. I don't have to pay that food anymore. But that shouldn't have affected you. No, I don't know how that well, affected the town, me. Well, but... uh, level two doesn't doesn't have food expense. I mean, it gives. It's supposed to. Oh wait, hold on. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, no food. It's actually. Oh, it's minus six food on the building, right? He was he was selling food. Oh, I guess so, yeah. that's why. You gotta convert that away then. Okay, well, I'm. S Do I have any pawns to give you instant money? I guess not. I guess I could sell a, a non-aggression pact or something. Let's see. Obviously, I can't do anything with you because really big mates. Um, <laughs> invest or yeah, right. Instant get proxy wars to exist. I forgot about that. Um, okay, let's have a look. Quick deals. Peace. No, not peace. Non-aggression pact. Leo Bay. Yeah, Leo Bay. Ugh, do I want to get on aggression back with Leo Bay? Not really. But I guess for the moment it's okay. I can always declare one of them later. Leo Bay, give me some money because I need to buy your wife, your future wife. That's quite the deal. <laughs> I know, right? He's paying for me to buy his wife. Alright, he paid me 666, by the way, so that's nice. To sigh. Lady it's all me. coming. It's all coming together. Oh, she's a she's a commander. Interesting. She's, she's pretty good hair, uh, but you have Lady Bian as well, and you have Taurian, so you're not you're not really short on air candidates. No. She also brings with her some jewel war axes as a little bonus. Ooh, nice. that's that's nice. Yeah, people actually suggest that I should make Lady Bian my heir until Tsao P comes of age. I mean, Taurian's also a great choice. Oh, yeah. is Tsao P still your heir right now? He is, yeah. Okay, then you're missing out for many. You're gonna miss. I know, out I know. This is, but this is me. Yeah. Like this is how I play. It's like, oh, it, it's it's historical that he is the heir, so I don't want to. Actually, it. no, no. Oh. <laughs> he's not. He's not heir historically until two sixteen. Oh, well, in that case. Yeah, Tal Tal first had Tal on as heir, but Tal on died, and then he left no heirs until he made a decision in two sixteen to name Tal P the heir. Well, I mean, he's not the oldest son. Like technically, he shouldn't even be considered. Yeah, that's something I also thought. When he I ends up as the heir, so the game just makes it so that the AI doesn't like okay, screw it up. Gotcha. Right. Well, in that case, yeah, I'm definitely gonna make someone else my heir, but I don't have the money to hire anyone right now, or make anyone my uh, adopt a son right now. So it's gonna have to be someone from my actual family member. Otherwise, I'd like to do Guoja, but uh, all right. So how do I go along? I just do I have to? Um fire my air first somehow or like how do you just go to the family member you oh, want yeah, just make air, and yeah, then yeah, click yeah. make air and then tell people would automatically yeah. be bounced all right so the only options are lady bien and sao ren so right it has to be family them. yeah so I mean, who's, melee damage who's roll, better melee skill calf. tree uh you got it's currently just melee damage roll melee cap I mean, basically they have the same skill tree set up for that position Depends on who's higher level. Yeah. And then Lady Ban would have the extra satisfaction from she her background. She gets the satisfaction, which I think is more important right now. And then go with her. Yeah. yeah. She's got higher authority too, so more bonus from that too. All right. Wife, you are now my new heir. Make heir. Oh, man. Okay, so here's a little funny story. Um, when I first started playing, uh, the first campaign I ever did with Liu Bei, just as the game came out, people didn't, weren't really sure what was uh, going on yet, and Liu Bei just would not make a uh, make an heir for me. Just took, he just didn't. He just apparently just not interested in having sex. Apparently, um, so eventually people started suggesting the way to do it. They were telling me that, oh, Mr. Swordonkey, look in the family tree. It says make heir. That's what you need to need to click. And I was like, no, that's not the case. People apparently were thinking that you would click the button, you click the button to, to make, make a the, son. Yeah, to make them have sex. It's like, no, that's not how it works. That's that's <laughs> something else. But yeah, so many people actually recently, I still got a comment, someone commenting like, you're supposed to click the make air button. It's like, no, no. I mean, you'll make her the air. You'll make the wife the air. Exactly, yeah. That's yeah. what it is. But obviously people didn't realize that because the game had just come out. But it's, yeah, that, that happens. I actually made a video at some point with like frequently asked questions, and one of those was how to make an error, or, well, more explaining that that error <laughs> button wasn't the one where it says, hey, you guys, go have sex now. 
Anyway. Um, right, so that's another character. I've got one more scheme. That's what I was going to look at. Recruitment cost, retinue upkeep. It's all enemy stuff now. I'm not super interested in that. I can reduce someone's satisfaction by 25. I'm sure I'll do that to you at some point when we're fighting, but not right now. Uh, <laughs> character salary. So encouraging to hear. <laughs> um, oh, plus 50 diplomatic relations with an enemy. I can make us love each other, but it seems a bit useless right now. Uh, oh yeah, the minus 20 food production seems really strong as well, because then you can just sell that your food to that person. That is incredibly strong. Yeah. That is incredibly strong. Yeah. I think that one's going to be a favorite of mine as well. Then I've got nothing I can do to commandery right now, and I've got a couple I can do to armies, but I'm not really planning on fighting any specific armies. So I think I might just hold it, or reduce someone's food by 20, and then sell them a bunch of food later on. I know Liu... Uh, Liu Biao loves paying tons of money for food, so I think once I meet him, I'll just do that to him. I don't think I want to use it right now. Do you, do you would you like always use schemes when you've got them available, or would you say yeah sometimes it's worth keeping it? For I mean, her? you probably want to. I mean, if you want to, if you are worried that you will have like something you need, you need to do, and then you don't want to be like caught without a pawn, maybe save one. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna save one. I don't think, I, like, there's nothing really that I can do right now that's super useful to, like, I can't do any, oh wait, I've got knowledge of the ambitious 15 satisfaction plus 25% character salary. Actually, that's not bad. I got 10 credibility from that. Um, okay. Oh, can I do that on, like, Cao Ren? And he, he pays no salary, so 25% of nothing is nothing. No, he would just add, no, you're talking about what? Knowledge What's of the, the ambitious. Book? So it, it do? you get plus 15 satisfaction and plus 25% character salary and 10 That's for faction-wide. Uh, you don't want to do that. Is that faction-wide? Sure. It, it should be. I think everyone gets... So as long as one character is unhappy, you can do that, but then the effect is faction-wide. I, I think, at least in the preview build, that's what happened. Okay, then I, I definitely don't know. shouldn't do that. Yeah, because... I don't know if your economy can take that. Oh yeah, because it yeah, it doesn't let me target someone specifically. Okay, good thing you said that, because that would have been <laughs> that would have been pretty pretty expensive right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, then I'll keep I'll keep one available for now. Um, I am not going to recruit any more units because that's fine. I should consider putting someone in court. But I guess I can do that next turn. I'm just not really super interested in any of them. Minus ten percent recruitment cost. I guess is okay. Um, I guess I could put Xiao Dun in there. Eh, I'll do it next turn. There's no need to pay that money right now. I just want to have the Imperial, or sorry, the uh, Faction Council thing next turn. I want to do something. It's just such a cool mechanic. I want to use it. Um. Anyway, that's that. Let's end the turn. Okay. I'm going to fight this army. Oh, exciting. But I don't have enough movement on this army. I'm going to have to cheese out some movement with a second army and then just reinforce. Okay. So I'm going to raise a force. Can be attacked because it's like right next to the town or something. Oh, I can get a full movement bar. So oh, you yeah, see, this army has no movement. This. Yeah. And then I recall the first general yeah. I summon, and someone I get fresh movement. So I can you attack cheesy, him. He's on march. Cheesy man. <laughs> now I hope he gets along with Joel Tai. That would be great. Oh, he doesn't hate each other. That would work. As long as they don't hate each other. I don't really need the cab, but it doesn't hurt to have them. I have no garrisons right now. I could get a small amount of garrison if I upgrade. I also don't really need them. Alright, let's just get the fighting first. I'll do the Ministry of Stuff after. Alright, we gotta fight this one out. We got the better generals. They have the more, they have more units. Isn't Zhutai the guy who can just take on entire armies by himself? Because of his weird buff or something? Only after he gets his uh, Undying Vow. Okay. He, he can't do much right now. I don't think I've ever actually had him in a, a faction yet. 
So Undying Vow just gives him passive heal. So you can just kite and then wait and then go back in. Didn't they nerf that? Shouldn't they have nerfed that or something? Because I feel like everyone knows about that. Every time I see like a picture on Reddit or something of like, oh, Zhu Tai took another entire army by himself. Like, oh. Yeah, I don't know. I think whoever designed him really liked him. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. I remember um, I actually was a big. Um, like, I vouched for having. What's it called? Hail of Arrows reduced to a certain amount of uses because it was just like incredibly uh, overpowered. Uh. I, right. I kept mentioning that, like, you need to nerf this ability because it's just stupendous right now. And then eventually they did. I'm not sure if that was because of me. I'm sure yeah. other people Before also uses, said something. Yeah, yeah it's, still, it's still really good. It's not, like, terrible. But, like, infinite was literally, yeah, you could just kite the whole time. Shoot, kite, shoot, kite. It was just ridiculous. I remember having, like, 3,000 kills on a single general. In a single battle. Pretty brutal. I'm going to give you all the units. I'll take all the generals. Sure. You, you can have the entire donkey herd. Oh. Would you like me to get anyone to kill today? And feel free to do do as you please. Um, so I'm going to just pull everyone a little bit closer to the reinforcement because we really need them. Yep. You can have these two right away. And I'll give you the rest as we go. Are you gonna disband these two camp that you just gave me? They, I will. Yeah. Okay, so then I'll definitely just, use them. Yeah, as feel content. free to feel free to use them to your heart's content. The rest I'll be more careful with. I'm gonna give you the entire donkey's herd. Sweet. Two infantry and, units. Uh, All right. I'm gonna see if I can get a duel started. Sure. Actually, it's not giving me the duel selection. At all? Huh. Oh, actually, because I have student you selected. Okay, that that's, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're they're not usually very good at uh, dueling, are they? Strategists. Mm, I should have given them weapons. Okay, they don't want to duel me though. So, oh, actually, they want to they want to duel the one without the weapons. Very smart of them. What about my leader? Oh no, they just want to duel the one without the weapons. So we're not doing that. I guess we'll just we'll just face them. Uh, I think the goal is just to smash all the cavalry with our cavalry and everything. Sure. And generals. And then we'll, I'll wait for you guys a little bit. Do you want me to run or just keep no, no, just, marching? Just take your... Oh, you're, are you just marching them? Are walking them? Yeah, I'm walking them. I'll, I'll do three times speed then. Okay. I mean, I, I can sprint them if you want, but... It's, uh, it's okay. I mean, like, quickly. keeping them fresh. Yeah. Uh, they, um, they increased that, didn't they? With the latest patch... Mm -hmm. The, the, the speed when tired is a little bit higher, and then like there's like faster recovery when you're idle. Okay. Understood. To be honest, they're not very strong. Like I don't know if I will lose this duel, but I, like I have 75 armor. Do you uh... Should I? But I, I don't know. Should I take the chance? Eh, you can always run away. Got stifling deluge at least. They don't have any abilities. Oh. I sent one in. Just, oh, yeah, he's got earth just and to see what parts. happens. He's got. I picked. A, I picked supposedly the weakest one. He's the Cyan Law of Dong Zhuo. Oof. Neither one of them. <laughs> they both just this one. I mean, it's like with. We're both weak. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> well, I have seventy-five percent armor. He has forty. I have more evasion. Oh, that's really I good. What about have damage? more damage too. I, the only thing he's got is morale. You're, yeah, you'll you'll be totally fine. I mean, but there, then there's like the you know stat boost you get on difficulty level that's, that yeah, you that's just true. don't see. That's true. All right, so basically we're just hunting their four cavalry. Once we kill those, it should be pretty easy. The okay. spears we're just gonna try to ignore as much as possible until the end because we don't really have the units for that. I guess we have the swords, um, but. That's about it. I'll wait till you get a little closer. I'll try to drag them towards us. Sure. Yeah, I'll start running a little bit. Let's speed this up. I mean, we have ignored ground type on the whole field because we have Zhang up, so the snow doesn't actually bother us. So we should be faster than them by default. Alright, I'm going to lead a small detachment out towards you. 
right? Yeah, we can play charge at him. It's gonna be the longest jewel ever, by the way. Yeah, two, two, two characters with common weapons. All right, let's go. I got no abilities to use, but I got the units. I'll try to draw them out one by one. Looks like he's winning. Yeah, I'll be all right. It's gonna be an absolute mosh pit of cavalry over here. Yeah, the duel is going great. Looks like uh, not gonna let them cycle charge us. Bump them, bump them. Here we go. <laughs> the duel is happening in the middle of this other battle going on right now. Uh oh. What's happening? The general's uh, trying to route our saber. Well, we should be winning that duel. Yeah, should be over in a Without second. any problem. Lijue has really good armor. We should have messed with him with the duel, but maybe. Guosa can be really easily done. Alright. They routed before us. Wonderful. I'm gonna ignore um, Li Zhu. Just focus on the calf. Uh, you have two shock just sitting there. Yeah, yeah moving. Ah, there goes Don't Draw Sign Law. Yay! Morale shock. And they have no friendship. They don't have the power of friendship. How sad. Right. Alright, let's do some charges into G Militia. Always goes well. Can't do anymore? Cavalry OP. Donkey's herd. They're herding. Taking care, of, taking care of these units. Absolutely. All right, they're not dueling us any. Oh, I can duel him now. I'll duel another one. <laughs> it's experience. Three thousand a pop. Damn. All right, probably want the cavalry to kill the last general. He do has pretty hard to kill. Okay. I'll send them in. I'll clean up the rest. Got a calf coming back as well. All right, you're going. Okay, I'll chase them down. I'll send one back to stop them. Well, Joe's had one again! And there he runs, there you go. Nice. Repelled them. Well done. I've defended the capital. The capital that's level 1 with no retinue. <laughs> so if they actually could reach it, they would just take it. The worst 8,000 down the drain. Yeah. That's why initially I was like, are you going to try and protect that? Because I get a lot of money. But then you were like, don't oh, worry, I can't reach there's it. a river. No. Yeah. <laughs> see if I captured anyone. Oh, kick in the face. Wait, Glossa didn't have any resiliency? No way. Oh, I got Li Jue. Oh, 
employ. My roster is ballooning too much. <laughs> Captain Pursuit Triumph. Okay, so number of battles, I believe that is. Yeah, I thought my roster was nice, but man, yours is... Yeah, five battles with... So I gotta fight them again, if I can. Um, Should be able to take them. Let me level up. Uh, I don't... I guess we'll take more charge. They fixed him, where you can't get um, the skills from the opposite side of the tree. Okay. I don't want this. Mm. I'll just delegate this one. Sure. There's just nothing to do here. Uh, delegate. Oh man, my economy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to fire people now. Send them my way. They, There's they always a place might, in... They might very well go to you. That'd be good. It's definitely a possibility. Always a place uh... for unique characters in South South Court. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna fire the unique ones. Oh. Well, I mean, if, if they're decent... I'll, I'll send you Shuyo if you want. <laughs> Wait, is that the uh... the the, the yeah, turncoat there's... guy, historical turncoat? I I mean, Mold is here on my side. He's oh, like the, the better version of the one for spying. Right. So I'm gonna have to release him from service. A little bit hard to keep them happy. I'm gonna keep the Han family here. Simping can go. One farmer is enough. Simping's brother goes on historically to work for you. Oh, these are just hmm, these are too good to to fire. Multi I kind of want, so that would ruin my economy again. Okay. All right, I need new assignments because my old assignment's gone since my capital is gone. My son needs to level up and we need to boost satisfaction. I need to reset my trade routes because they're both unavailable now. So got to chat with a couple of people be like this deal is is gone and I'm gonna gain untrustworthy for this or it's already annoying that mm, I mean I'm not gonna take that back I'm, I'm gonna lose the trade route anyways so who's the other one my vassal how would my vassal feel about me cutting them off with the trade I mean right now it's ready off Oh, there's also a food component, so they would be really unhappy that I tr I cut this off. Yeah, that's not worth it. Oh, uh, I'm just not going to have trading come for a few turns? This is awkward. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm just not going to have food income for a few... Uh, uh, trading come for a few turns. I'll make it up for it by having extreme tax rates. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be long before I go for uh, her Yi and Chen very long. Yeah, so go for it. Once I do, we'll be bordering each other. But I would still be stuck in the trade with them until their faction get wiped or something. Yeah. Well, I guess, it, isn't it like after 10 turns you can break it with no downside or something? Maybe, yeah. I could just wipe out Wang Quan's faction. That could be another strategy here. Um, but yeah... 
money is not doing great. Oh, I can get I can get the Ru from uh, Dong Zhuo's faction. And here I am spending cash. So which <laughs> yeah. means... every time you're like, oh, not doing well, money, but I can spend some more money. Right. Eleven points of spy defense. That's actually pretty high. It's gonna be a long-term project, so we're gonna have to keep him there. That's even more money spent. If I rush, no, I shouldn't rush this. The decision should really be, I should rush this. So I get an extra slot. Go for, go for this first. The discount from that would help that. Yeah, and then we're losing because of climate, reserves, casualties. Man, this is a rough start with so many characters it is, that yeah. I don't want to fire. All right, I think I'm good. I think are I did everything I wanted. Are you losing money now, or are you still positive? But... Uh, 420? Oh, sick. Blazing. It's not... <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it happens to be that way. I can get some money from Control. Let me get some more money from him. I can get cash. I'll get cash. Anything helps at this point. That way I still make 420. It's weird. All right. the, the game kind of unconsciously tells me when you are in diplomacy. Like on the top right, it'll show the like little overlay for like ownership, blah, blah, blah. Like you can, you can change oh. it. And it'll only pop up when you're in diplomacy. So I can tell that you're in diplomacy, weirdly. Interesting. Hey, back away now. So now you're done in the east, you're thinking about heading back west, right? Yeah, I'll probably pick up a bit of Han territory on the way. I think, uh... Ooh, Dao okay. um, uh, Do you want to use that as a save for the episode? Yes, yeah, yeah, good idea. Yes. But yeah, I think um, I might pass by Huainan. Mm -hmm. At least uh, fully. Grab some of that. Because it's yeah. easy to pick up. I might leave the, the big town, but yeah. And I want to take out... I just want to take out He Yi, just because he will become more dangerous, although he does already own two territories, I just noticed. Either way, though, yeah. I think I don't want to attack okay. uh, Liu Bei yet, so I think... Uh, I'm probably going to be still dealing with Dong Zhuo's forces for a while. I'm going to probably push uh, west, grab the gate, and then grab the rest of Luoyang so we complete it. And then, depending on how many men he sent... I'm interested in getting He Dong as well. I need two commanders. I have two administrators, but I have only one city now, so that's awkward. Yeah. Maybe Nanyang. Maybe I, maybe I, I like maybe if you're going for He Yi, we can team up on my brother. Uh, yeah. I think once I get around to that area, that makes that totally makes sense. Could be yeah. Cool. All right. Cool. Well, then I'll be Sounds done for great. now. Sounds great. All right. Uh, we're gonna end things here, and we'll see everybody next time. Bye. Have a good day. Goodbye.